guys, it's Liv. Today I am very excited and very in my element because today we are talking about desserts. So for this video I partnered with Thrive Market which is an online grocery store. Basically it's described as Whole Foods meets Costco and this is because like Costco you pay a yearly membership to shop there, which is online, it's not an actual store, it's online. Um, and because everyone pays for a membership, then the prices are very discounted. I think it's like 25 to 50% discount on their products. So the reason why it is called Costco Meets Whole Foods is because the products that they carry are very specialized and very high quality and things that you might not be able to find just at a regular grocery store. So right now Thrive is only in the US so if you don't live in the US I'm sorry this offer isn't for you but for those who do live in the US which I know is a large majority of you this offer definitely applies to you so Thrive offered me to offer you a free 16 ounce jar of Justin's almond butter and a free one month trial with Thrive Market so that you you can try it out, see if you like it, see if you want to go on to become a member. So all you have to do is go to the link that will be the first link in the description box. So Thrive sent me some products to use in this video and I'll be telling you and showing you which ones are from them. But if you don't live in the US, you can easily just substitute these ingredients for a different brand or something similar. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can always ask in the comments and I or someone else will probably be able to answer your question. So I think, I hope I explained everything about Thrive Market okay if you have any other questions leave them below or you can always email me or just visit the link and that will hopefully answer all of your questions about the almond butter and the membership so yeah that is everything i have to say for now let's get into the video So for the Rocky Road Bars you need half a cup of nut butter so I used almond butter obviously and then you need a half cup of liquid sweetener. The thicker the better. So if you have brown rice syrup or coconut nectar, those will work the best. I only had maple syrup, so they were they didn't stick together as well, but they still worked. Then you need two cups of a crispy rice cereal. Then I use these organic spelt pretzels and I just took a big handful of those and crumbled them up in my hand and then just threw those in the bowl. Then I did a handful of these Dandies Vegan Vanilla Marshmallows. So as you can see, they are gelatin free, which means they're vegan. And I just threw, again, a handful in that. I kind of eyeballed everything. And then I used these Thrive Market brand dark chocolate chips and they are vegan. And I just threw a bunch of those in and then just stir it up and make sure that it all gets coated. And then if you want your bars to be fairly thick, I suggest putting this in a loaf pan, but if you want them to be thin, you could use like a eight inch square cake pan. That works too, but I used a loaf pan. And then just press that in as hard as you can with a uh, metal spoon. And then you want to refrigerate this for at least a couple hours so that it has time to bind together and solidify. And then after a few hours, you just cut it with a knife and you are good to go. This makes about eight large ones or 10 smaller ones. So for these thick, chewy chocolate cookies, you need half a cup of vegan butter or coconut oil, one cup of sugar, and just cream that together. You guys have seen me do this a bunch of times, so you know what's up, but basically you're just gonna stir those together until they're combined. And then add a quarter cup of almond milk and a splash of vanilla. I usually just eyeball the vanilla, but if you want a measurement, you could use a teaspoon. And then add one and three quarters cups of flour, four tablespoons of cocoa, a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder, and then just stir that all together. It's going to look a little bit dry and it's gonna be a little bit hard at first, but just keep on persevering and it will get easier and turn into a dough, I promise, as you can see here. So again, I just use these Thrive Market dark chocolate chips. 
and I just eyeballed that, threw some in. I don't really give measurements for chocolate chips and cookies because I find it's really personal and everybody likes a different amount, so just do however much you want. And then to make them sort of big and thick and chewy, you need to make them really big. So you wanna use about two tablespoons of dough per cookie, so just roll them into perfect little balls and space them out like this on a pan. They don't have to be perfect. So bake those at 350 for 10 to 11 minutes and then just leave them on the pan for a few minutes before uh, you try and remove them just so that you make sure that they don't break. These are seriously some of the best cookies I have ever made. I promise anyone you give these to will love them. So for this recipe, I actually used these little mini pre-made graham cracker pie crusts and they're accidentally vegan, but if you can't find these or the ones you can find aren't vegan, I will include a recipe for graham cracker crust below. The next thing you need is Dandy's mini marshmallows and the Thrive Market dark chocolate vegan chocolate chips. And all you're going to do, as you'll see, is just layer the chocolate chips and the marshmallows in the tarts. So you can make as many of these as you want. There isn't really a measurement. I just kind of eyeballed it and layered everything in. But I just wanna say that when I was looking for the products that I needed on Thrive Market, it was super easy to find because they categorize everything on the website. So you could click non-GMO, organic, vegan, gluten-free, and then within those categories, you could click candy or snacks or whatever you want. And it's super easy to find what you're looking for. And I also just wanted to note, if you do choose to go and become a member after your free trial is over, Thrive Market actually donates a free membership to a family need or a teacher or a veteran with every paid membership so not only are you getting a membership for yourself and your family but you're also getting it to a family in need so that's just something really nice to think about if you do go on to become a member so once you have them layered in you're going to put them in the oven or if you have a toaster oven that works great on broil and I want you to stand by the door and watch it very carefully because it doesn't take long at all and it can burn really quickly and really easily once it's all toasty, you will have this super cute little s'mores tart. I suggest either eating it with a fork if you want to eat it straight out of the oven or you could let it cool for a few seconds and just pop it right out of the tart. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go to the link in the description box if you live in the US and you can get a free jar of Justin's Almond Butter and a free one month membership to Thrive Market so you can try it out for yourself. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.